doing good. I <clears throat> well, if you have been following my other lives that I had this morning, I did not have very good time today with uh, a set of course company. Not very impressive. Um, sometimes you have a very bad day. So, it was just like that. तो कोई रास्ता नहीं बन रहा तो सोचा कि चलो मैं इधर आ जाता हूँ और इधर थोड़ा रिलैक्स हो जाते हैं तो ये हमारी डिलीवरी है वी आर डिलीवरिंग दिस फ्रंट व्हील लोडर राइट नाउ वी आर इन ट्विन फॉल्स एंड वी आर डिलीवरिंग दिस पैकेज टू समवेयर इन एडाहो God damn it! So it's gonna be interesting because this is the first time I had I bought this truck. Uh, usually, when I go for the Peterbilt or Kenworth trucks, I usually go for the old American style. But this time, I got this one, the one that looks more like Volvo's. So. It doesn't sound really good, to be honest. Usually, these trucks sound amazing, but this one, uh, it's not my favorite. But it is much more powerful. What is your problem? ये हमारे सफ़र का आगाज़ हो चुका है आ, हम एडाहू में हैं कोई इसको एडाहू बोलता है कोई आईडाहू बोलता है आई डो नो ये एग्जैक्ट क्या है कंट्री साइड है मुझे कंट्री साइड पसंद होती है वैसे भी इट्स नॉट बैड और इन स्टेट्स में रोड्स भी बहुत वाइड होते हैं विच इज़ वेरी गुड और It's fun to drive. If you are into relaxing games, then this is something that you you will actually love. That you just drive around the country, and you don't have much to think about. You just drive, and without any stress or pressure. It's like uh, races will always stress you out. They are not easy when you when you're doing the sim racing. This kind of games, they are always there to help you relax. So I'm not sure if I picked the right color for my new truck. But anyway, it is what it is. We can change it later too. It's fine. के दूसरे ट्रक्स होते हैं द अदर ट्रक्स दैट पीर बिल्ड हैव दे हैव वेरी गुड साउंड बिकॉज यू हैव द फिल्टर लाइक दोज ट्रक्स यू हैव द फिल्टर राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर डोर सो दे गिव यू अ वेरी गुड थ्रोडल साउंड बट दिस वन डजन हैव दोज सो आई डोंट क्वाइट लाइक द वे ए रियली साउंड दोज ट्रक्स एक्चुअली साउंड रियली गुड दैट वन दैट वाइट वन ओवर दैट This time I wanted to have a change, so I just got this one instead of that. But these trucks are very powerful.
This city is Twinfall in Idaho. Look at that Chevy truck. That's beautiful, that yellow one. And that truck, I don't like those. I don't know what they're called. They're called international? I don't know, uh, international or something. They look really bad. They don't look very good. Look at that thing. That grill is a bit too extra. Oh. So this is a brand new truck that I'm driving. I only had 22 miles on it. Um, actually. This grass looks very, 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 very poor. That's not nice looking grass. There should have been different shades. And look at this bridge. Oh my god, I'm scared. What's that guy doing over there? Oh, taking pictures. one before or maybe I didn't pay attention Circus? That one. It's like a water park. does not look very good in this game really I need to download um, I need to download a proper mod that would make the water in the river looks good because as for now it looks really bad
I really want to go there. What happened? Why are they blocking? There's nothing wrong. Start working. My shifter is not working. I have set the shifter to cruise up, increase the cruise, and decrease the cruise, and uh, it's not working. And I don't need the handbrake on this game, so I usually use this for drifting or some for stuff in the other games, but. In American Truck Simulator, since you don't go for the drifting, you don't need it too much, so... Uh, I have to make use of it, and my use for it is just the... Just to increase or decrease the cruise control. That F-150? Yep, that's it. Is that a cement plant or a power plant? slow down like that when you jump into the fast track just speed up not slow down This road, it's beautiful, it's really nice. I really don't remember. I don't remember this building. I don't know what this building is. Is there a board? It's like a farm, some farm. I don't know, I cannot read it. A double farm. wonderful scenery in this game, isn't it? Compared to a Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator scenery is really nice. Look at the type of this grass, like this is what I always talk about, the little details. Little details like the grass, look at this grass. It has so many different colors. 
look at the different colors of the of the, of the dirt. Look at the different sizes and different plant sweet. Oh, that was nice. In the suburbs. Uh, okay, so it really stands out. Look, well, that grass in the field does not look really uh, realistic. So, to be honest. And also, it's also because that uh, probably this map, uh, the Idaho, is a very old map. So there are not enough details around here. But but, but if you go to the newer DLCs, like the uh, what is the new one? The oh my God, I forgot the names. The Kansas, the Idaho, and uh, Nebraska. There, the detail of the weeds and stuff, and the, and the grass and the dirt and the and the road, it's really amazing. Even here, you can see different types of grass, different types of weed and all. Uh, but it's not as good as it is in the new DLCs. I don't know if it's possible that they can update these. Uh, if they could, it would be great. Like, look at this two patches of different colors like it looked like they just they just put it there by you know clicking something without working into details you know what I'm saying and there are so many problems like that in the Euro truck simulator and the leaves that the grass the dirt the road they look like they look like plastic. They, look, they, don't, they don't look very realistic. But if you come here in the American Truck Simulator, oh more. I'm telling you, this is very, very good. You can relax. And also, one of the best thing about the uh, American Truck Simulator is that you get to have higher speed, like 70 kilometers an hour is good enough for me. But yeah, well, 70 miles an hour is uh, like. Yeah, 70 miles an hour, that's good. But in, in the American Truck Simulator, sometimes you're driving at 90 kilometers, no, 90, not 90, 60 kilometers an hour, 70 kilometers an hour, 80 kilometers an hour. Only if you go to Spain or uh, Italy, you'll get to drive, or France, you'll get to drive at 90 kilometers an hour. Otherwise, most of the, most of the streets are very narrow and uh, the speed limit is also very low. Which is very, very, very annoying. मुझे बहुत बुरा लगता है, बहुत बुरा लगता है. इतनी इतनी power होती है आपके पास, and you cannot speed up. You have so much power, but you cannot use it because they, the game will not allow you because you are in the Euro Truck Simulator. Why? Why do you do that? Well. Thanks for the creators of this game. It's amazing. And I tell you what, this is 2016 game. It's lovely. It's lovely, really lovely. Why are you... Why so slow? road is 80 miles an hour 80 miles an hour is actually very high speed it's very very high speed you can push your truck to the limits at 80 miles an hour speed
Let's see how the suspension works in this truck. Not too good. Uh, no, not too good. Let me try again. Let me see the suspension, the realistic suspension on this truck. What's that pole doing? Let me see this angle. Ah, it's not that nice. suspension thing that the realistic suspension that works really very beautiful on the uh, Volvo truck uh, if you want to know what I'm talking about go to my shorts you will find one short but I made this short for the uh, realistic mod of the truck suspension and uh, there you will find the Volvo truck in that video and it works great it's beautiful but on this truck it doesn't look very nice. That video is really amazing. What just happened? What just happened? What happened to my USB? Let me fix that. God damn it. I hate it when this happens. I want to like smash something when this happens. Yeah, this one is okay. Sorry for the disturbance. I don't know. I don't know what happens. Uh, my USB loses connections, and then all of a sudden my cameras stop working. Anyway, we're back. Damn it. Why did you break like that? Well, nearly had an accident. You gave me a heart attack. Prius. that will give me a very good color of the water springs and the rivers and the small ca canals etc wow this place i i have never been here i think i have never been here i just don't remember or maybe i have but i came here at night so i couldn't i, I can't remember 
Does anyone know anything about a mod that that have uh, that will enhance the watercolor in the rivers? Look at that mountain. And look at that tunnel. That's for the train, isn't it? I really don't like the wheels on my on my trailer. Look at those wheels with spikes. They look really bad. I need to change them. Cholo, cholo, cholo. Oh my god, this adaptive cruise control is so much annoying. Probably, I don't. That was Idaho, and I don't know. Oh, I forgot. Anyway, 
It looks like we have Grand Canyons here. Or no. Oh my god, what's going on? It's scary when I turn on this camera. My mistake. I need to change that. like uh, Optimus Prime would pop up from somewhere on these roads. sound why do I lose this what's wrong with my USB ports damn it I get a USB error uh, I don't know which USB error uh, which USB port but I get this error and all of a sudden I lose all of my camera feed it does it stops working and then I have to go back to the stream and uh, fix it back I don't know which one is it control is very much annoying very very annoying is that a train that's oh my god that's so many boogies that's a huge train I wonder what's the horsepower on that thing Damn, I 
I love these things. I wish I had one of those. That was RV, right? I am fuming right now because of this USB thing. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fix this. I seriously need help. Because I don't know which USB is creating problem, which port is it. Yeah, musibat hai. Mujhe uninterrupted stream chahiye, uninterrupted stream. Lekin ye USB ports, God damn it, ye bahut annoying hai. Pradash se baire. so much traffic today like this kind of uh, videos I would really I would really appreciate if you would just go ahead and subscribe to the channel I hope you don't mind I hope you want to uh, how much time do we have yeah we should just find a place to sleep Not this one, but the next one probably. scary uh, I take it here
take some rest. Grand Avenue. Grand Avenue? That one is Grand Avenue? No. Not the one. space for me oh I can park it anywhere I'll just leave it I know it's not a nice spot but here we are let me make some changes I want to have some change buttons uh, in the and sleep. Now let's continue. It is good morning everyone. It is 6.57 in the morning and that truck is still there. Is it? Yep, that's still there. That's a beautiful truck. I want to have that. Chevy Vesa truck chahiye. kind of sound but it's very very powerful noticed uh, you would have never seen passenger train in this game only cargo trains I don't know why we get to have uh, the passenger buses here but not the passenger trains uh, the content creator should add that also 
and dumps of passenger trains. Look at that. There comes some more industry. in the new DLC right now because the brass looks completely different and the weed also looks look at that that sunflower in the middle and that brown thing in the middle that's something new it it, it, it hints that this is a new map where are we this is not Oklahoma, right yes it is it is Nebraska see as soon as I entered in Nebraska I I knew it that th th that this is not uh the same old dlc it's the new one it's different it's beautiful the grass is amazing the density of grass is amazing it's different at different locations um like normally you would see if there is like a a bump or a trench or what do we call it like a drain or something you will have extra weed there tall group weed you'll find that kind of thing here on this map as well on this dlc as well and you'll have different sizes of grass and different sizes of weed and different colors of them. It's great. What's that over there on the mountain? What's that for? As soon as I enter, I knew it that this is the new DLC. It's Nebraska. It's, uh... It's different. Look at the, look at this. It looks quite real. It's that good. Look at that. This cross. It's amazing. The way they made it. Oh, seriously, Nebraska is my favorite. My most favorite is Nebraska. Look at that, look at that mountain over there. They're really getting better at it. The Oklahoma was nice, then Texas was nice, and Nebraska is amazing. I hope the new one, I think it's called uh, the Missouri uh, DLC. I hope that one is even better. They're doing a very good job. God damn it, that truck is right in my armpit. slowing down the sand over there that one it's like a palace do you have palaces in Nebraska I love such sceneries
damn it. That truck is so far and it starts retarding. I want to take a new route. I've already taken this one and this one. I haven't taken this one. Oh, I just. Stop. Okay, let me fix this one again. It's stuck. I need. I seriously need. I don't know what to do. Huh? Uh, okay. So I've already taken uh, this road and this road down to Oklahoma City. I haven't taken this one. So it's going to be interesting if I take this one because this part is not explored and we it's a broad daylight. So as soon as I reach the road that connects a north pallet a plate, sorry, I said pallet, north plate, I will take exit right. And uh, that's where we're going to go. RV, right? Damn, I love RVs. I wish I, I was rich enough to own one of these. Damn, that's beautiful. It's, a, it's not an RV, I think it's a mobile home. It's, uh, I don't know. Wait, is this the one? Oh, no, not this. Awfully close. Why are you so close to me? Probably this is the one. It's not the time I've said it but I really love this DLC I really love the way it looks I really love its surrounding and sceneries and all where did that car come from This thing is very annoying. Take right exit. Yes, we will. We want to explore. We do not want to go straight. We want to explore the DLC. We want to see what else is there in this DLC.
We're gonna encounter a lot of uh, signals or something. No! That's why I came here. Oh, it's going to take me back. Oh, oh, strength. What the hell? I'm gonna go straight. This guy is just ahead of me and he's going to be very annoying because he'll be driving slow. Oh, somebody's having a barbecue over there. Excuse me sir, you can't park it there. The, this is what I was talking about. They get so much annoying. I hope no one will be, will be coming across. Nope, it's an empty road. Look at those horses. Was that a horse or a cow? station where is the station right here yahan tak to pahunch hi jayenge koi masla nahi look at these hubs and all it's nice excuse me sir you can't park it there are you making barbecue? God damn it. Bye. I need to find a way to fix it. this thing. I smash everything. Smash everything. Sit. Find a way to sit. I really hate it. My USB keeps on losing power.
Hey, what's going on? They had an accident. This is also the first time I'm here. I just want to explore Inburger. It's a nice town. I lost power again? No, I didn't. having barbecue again and they invited police to scare them up. They should not park the cars parallel to the road because that will put a police officer who is investigating into a lot of pressure uh, because he'll be standing just next to the sh uh, white shoulder. Uh, it's quite dangerous. They should park the cars in 60 degrees so that the police officer is actually safe from the traffic. You don't have enough fuel. Hey Rebel. How is it going? Are you into this gaming? Uh, are you into this uh, simulator thing? Or you're uh, into sim racing or something? Because if you are, then I might want to uh, uh, subscribe to your channel and kind of learn a thing or two from you. I want to have dynamic mud flaps. I don't like it when I don't have them. come
what is that, a circus? Nah, it's just a tent. Oh, it's some a horsing stable or something. Yeah, okay, yes, you're new to it. This thing is addicting. Once you when, once you start racing, when you well, no, not racing. Once you're driving the truck, you will just want to have a real job of truck driving because it's amazing. It's just a long road and you relax and you, you know, enjoy the countryside. Look at this beautiful farm. You enjoy the road and you don't have a lot of pressure on you. It's very addictive. I, I keep on playing this game until this game or the Euro Truck Simulator until I, my back hurts. I thought if you were like a pro into this game, in this game, then I, I might want to follow your channel so that I can learn a, a bit from you, uh, like what you're doing, how you're doing it. Where did that road go? Is that a hidden road? What about this one? Oh, this one is also open. What about this one? There are so many roads! There are so many roads around here. Yeah, you will become a pro. I'm also not a pro. I make so many mistakes. There are some people, I don't know how do they, how do they drive like that. You know, they're, they're driving and they change their camera and they bring it to the front of the truck like you're not even seeing the road like how can you drive like that and they're quite okay with it i cannot do it like even if i turn my head just a little bit and i don't see the road um uh, i may get uh, i may skid off the road damn this place is really beautiful i love nebraska i love this dlc i love this dlc it has so much. I'm more into enjoying this new DLC than delivering a package. Really amazing. Are you taking me there why can't we just go straight I want to explore I've seen that road already mm. yeah uh... I really don't know how do they do it wait, 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 wait. come on man what's wrong with you it's a new truck. Yeah, you're right. The, the best that I can do is, is this. That's it. And those people, they can, you know... They can turn the camera right in front like this and I don't know how to drive this. Why do we have to go right? Oh, we don't. Paying attention. Where is your blinker? Explore. I want to take this this road. I want to 
to see what's there on this road. Yeah, this is this is one thing. Like most of the people don't even understand. People who are more into uh, the shooting games and stuff, they don't know how relaxing and how cool this game is. Like when I tell some of my friends, same people, uh, when I tell them that uh, I drive truck and it's super fun, and they're like, "You drive truck?" and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm driving truck," and uh, and they go like you race i'm like no it's not racing it's just driving they're like and why do you why do you drive it what is it what's in it for you when it's not racing or winning something like it's it's about enjoying the game it's about relaxing like back in the days when we were kids and we didn't have uh hi-fi computers and stuff and not even had uh even the the uh, advanced game were not there in the world we, we would just play free cell and solitaire and pin pinball for hours so those are the kind of relaxing games but uh, this one this one too especially you have one folder in your i think it's in the c drive if you put your favorite songs in that folder then you can access those songs through your radio station and uh, you can just enjoy the music and go for a long drive and it's really great you can just uh, switch the songs, increase the volume, decrease the volume, just like you would do in a normal truck or a normal car. It's really good. Uh, I cannot do it right here because I, I might get the copyright issues. Where'd that road go? I might have the uh, copyright issues, uh, so I can't do it here. But normally if I'm not streaming, then I would just in, uh, turn on my music and, you know, go for a long drive. It's great, it's that good. People don't understand. They think it's all about racing and you know, racing is good. I, I do racing all the time, but it stresses you out. It's it's not easy to race uh, for more than a couple of hours. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure there in the racing games. But this one, it's just relaxing, it's cool. farms you think so I think they're doing the best job in the world uh, the truckers I think uh, they get to enjoy the most we don't. The other jobs, I, 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 I would just switch my job happily if I could drive trucks. It is difficult, but it's also fun. Like you gotta love trucking if you if you are into a trucking job, you've gotta love it. Otherwise, you'll not be able to do it. And uh, all those people, they're actually. Also, probably, I think they're enjoying as well. They're not just doing a job, but they're also loving it. Because it's not for everyone. There 
there's a lot of push and pull, there is a lot of, uh, uh, you know, sometimes you feel the weight pulling you back uh, because you're, you're pulling a huge load. Why is it so narrow? Why is this road so narrow? I mean, it's anxious. In the middle of nowhere. Oh, we're speeding. I love trucking. I wish I could be a trucker. In real life. Close on me. Yeah, thank you. Oh, look at that. A waterland. Water park. Can I take a picture? Do I have to take a picture? Yes, I have to, I think. It's okay. It's not about the picture, it's just uh, in water park. That's good enough. I know I'm not a good photographer, but this one will just do. It's so low. What is that farm over there? So that's too, that's so far. Why do they have to make that farm in the game so far out of the road? Oh, that road goes there. There are so many hidden roads. I'm realizing that there are so many hidden roads on this road in Nebraska. I think the next road that I'll find, I'll just take that road and try to explore it. I'm definitely taking the next road. This one. Oh, there is a police officer. Nope. This one is not open. This one is closed. These roads are also closed. This one is closed. That one is closed. That is a cemetery. Yeah, that's a cemetery. What's that? Liberal?
That looked like McDonald's. Passenger, she's a co-pilot. Uh, you can you can find the mod. There are actually many. Uh, there are many other types as well, but I think this one is better for me. She's fine. You can find many. Uh, it's uh, they're called some co-pilot or something. roads are also closed. I cannot go there. Some Star, uh, Star Wars characters as well. I, I think I, I don't know much about them. There are some that are really good looking, but the problem with those uh, co drivers is they don't move. They're like still photo. And she moves around like just a little bit. You can also put her here in this seat, and you can also put her on the back seat over there. She'll be like lying on her bed. So, but this one is better. You can have both of them. Okay. I will go straight. I'm going straight. I like this road. I want to go straight. Something wrong with that windmill. Somebody need to fix that. Don't apply sudden brakes. having a barbecue again. This is the third truck on this road. Having a barbecue. That road is also closed.
yeah, the Euro Truck Simulator. There are so many people who actually love Euro Truck Simulator more than the American Truck Simulator, but I quite don't like that game. Because the roads, one of the biggest problems, I have three problems there in the Euro Truck Simulator. Like the major one, I have many, but like the major problem, one of them is the very narrow roads. Like, you look away, you make a very small mistake, and you will be like hitting the side, uh, uh, the side barrier or something. Roads are very narrow. Secondly, the speed limit in that game is very low. You have so much power in your trucks there, like uh, 600, 700 horsepower, and I don't know how much torque, and uh, the speed limit in most of the Europe is 65 kilometers an hour, 70 kilometers an hour. There are only few countries, like, uh, uh, I think France, 90 kilometers in an hour, etc etc there, there are a few more more uh, that offers a higher speed on the road and one of the other big problem is that they have so many toll plazas when I get my rhythm when I get into the rhythm I put it on the in, on my in my to top gear and I think that now I am speeding and cruising towards the destination and all suddenly boom there is a toll plaza and after every few uh, 50 something kilometers I get another tool plaza and it never ends. It's very annoying. Yeah, this game also have the, that kind of thing, but it's not that frequent. Like this game, uh, on the highways, you will have to go through the weighing stations where they will check your trucks. They're not too frequent. But the tool plazas in the Euro Truck Simulators, oh my god, it's so much annoying. And I also don't like the, the graphics in that game, the detail of graphics in that game. And the other thing about that game is that they don't provide, uh, uh, those trucks don't have very good sound. American Truck Simulator have good sounding trucks. Like look at this, the, the size of the grass, look at the color of the road, the patches, the uh, different types of dirt, and the weed everywhere. It's, it's, it's quite worked hard on this map. It's very good. But on the uh, in the Euro Truck Simulator, it's like you just uh, take a paintbrush and paint one color and then paint another color, and you, they don't go into the little details of different types and diff different colors of uh, grass and weed and stuff. Which is why there there are like so many reasons why I love American Truck Simulator more than the Euro Truck Simulator. It's just better. This is just better. sceneries uh, but they put a lot of energy in 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 the details of the world everything is very good in this game but in the Euro Truck Simulator it's like they have a paintbrush and they just spray the same color of grass everywhere you don't find so different shades different colors and shadow of the grass there is no such thing as that which is why it's kind of, uh, I don't like it. Oh my god, there is a bus coming. Oh my god! That was so close. Let's go to sleep first. Let's have some rest. I 
I'm also into the racing stuff. I love racing. I love to un understand and know more about racing and the race cars, etc. But they are not that relaxing games. They will not relax you. They will give you a lot of stress. Uh, it's not easy to race, but trucking is like the best thing ever. They're beautiful, they're big, they're powerful, and you have roads and you're flying like a bird. I'm not straight, but anyway. I mean, the truck is not fast, straight. Okay, good morning again. It's 5.34 in the morning. And we'll continue our journey towards... Right now, we are in... We're not in Oklahoma. Oh, we will enter Oklahoma, right there. And this one is Texas. We're in Texas. Uh, okay, and uh, how much time do we have? 15 more hours, anyway. We can get it by this... We can get there by this afternoon, I think. Can you wait? Motocross? I don't remember motocross. I don't know anything about that. I have so many games. Uh, I have Forza Horizon 4. I do not like Forza Horizon 4. I like Forza Horizon 5. I don't like that either, but it's much, much better than Forza Horizon 4. But my most favorite, I have the Automobilista 2, but my most favorite game is the Assetto Corsa Competizione. Also Assetto Corsa, but Assetto Corsa Competizione is like something I really like. I am not good at it because other people, uh, multiplayer uh, racers, are really good at that game. They drive like bots and uh, I drive like humans, so... Yeah, dirt tracks with jumps? Yeah, I think what you're talking about. I'm not sure, but I think what you're talking about. I think I know what you're saying. There's just one thing that I'm not into the shooting games. I don't have any shooting games. I I just do the driving thing. Which is probably why my channel is also very small because people usually love to go for the shooting games like the PUBG, etc. Uh, there is a wing scale coming, so it's going to probably stop me because I've already been stopped last three times. But we didn't. Didn't say anything. Now we did. Nope, not stopping. Anyway, so uh, people who are like in those other games, who are into those games, uh, they get to have big channels and uh, people will follow them. But for the sim racing, you don't have very big community. Yes, you do, but not as big as them. But I don't like those games, so. Why should I change my, my games? I will not change my games for the people. Oh, hey, what's going on? I thought he was turning. Oh, there's another barbecue party. Hey, what the heck? Come on. What the hell? Farming simulators? Farming simulator 22 or 19? 
I am into farming. I was actually into farming simulator a lot. It's been quite a long time I didn't play the farming simulator 22. Oh, that one. That one, like, you will start... I, I remember when I started play, playing that game, I would have my breakfast at 10 o'clock or something and start playing that game, and I would stop at 8 o'clock at night. All day, I would just get up to the for the toilet and drink water, etc., and that's it. That's also one of those kind of games. But one thing I do not like about that game is that the maps are very small. You can download more maps, but I wish that the maps were kind of bigger than that. Oh my god, my my USB thing, it stops working, and I hate it when it stops working, but because every time I get this error on the USB, my cameras stop working. And it's very annoying that I have to go back to my this uh, OBS and um, make these cameras work again. It's very annoying. It's really, really stupid. But anyway, I can't do anything about it. I hope that the Farming Simulator 25 has... Uh, I think I haven't even played Farming Simulator 23. Uh, but I hope that Farming Simulator 25 has bigger maps and more detail but i also have one more problem with farming simulator uh, and that is that uh, the force feedback is not there it's like minimal i can't even feel it i don't know if there's something wrong with my setup or i don't know because i've changed everything i've changed the setting i've tried to work it out but it did not work the force feedback does not work uh, especially recently it used to work on my previous computer but on this computer it does not work Yeah, I will. I definitely will. I hope that they have good maps there. I really hope that they have very good maps. And I hope that they have more animals. And more types of products. Not just chicken, sheep, and uh, pig, and horse, and uh, cows. Well, well, that's all, actually. That's all that there is on the farm, actually. But still, I would like to see more stuff, more detail. I'm going to check out this uh, new trailer of, farm, of Farming Simulator 25. I really like that game. It's a very interesting game. And there's so much to download. There are, uh, uh, downloadable contents is endless. Even on the offline version, you can download so much and play it without any problem. Because usually I want to download the offline version, like the pirated one, so that I can understand how good it is, if I, uh, if I like it or not, and then I will go for the full version. It's just like recently I went for the Forza Motorsport. I thought that this is a new one it came in November or something November 2023 and I thought that it'd be better than even Forza Horizon 5 but boy I downloaded that game it was over 120 GB and I raced one and a half race and I downloaded it I deleted that whole thing I hated that game it was so bad feeling was so bad the feel of the game was so bad the accidents were so poor there was no detail in the accidents. The physics was so bad in that game, so I just deleted it after playing one and a half race. Price as well? For rice, you usually need a lot of water, uh, as far as I know. sure how this will go in the game that you when you're growing rice you'll have to you know pull up your entire field to grow rice Dallas that is Dallas 
That's the city of Dallas. That one over there, like a downtown or something. Yeah, so it means so it means that you'll need a lot of water trucks to pull up water in your field to you know and then you're gonna be able to grow rice otherwise you're not gonna be able to grow, grow rice or maybe there will be a water pumping system to fill your field with water if it was me I will always have the field next to the water source either the pumping station or uh, a lake or something I have rice on my field and I did not like the horses in that game it's very difficult to uh, take care of the horses in the farming simulator you have to ride them you have to clean them you have to feed them i'm sure they make a lot of money but it's a very difficult job to take care of the horses uh, cows are fine even though you have to prepare the tmr uh, that's also okay because there are so many mods which can help you uh, make your own tmr very easily and uh, also the big food is very easy if you have certain mods that you can just have uh, uh, feed your uh, that your building with that with its content and it will give you the give you the feed for the pigs but for the horses it's very difficult to manage and i wish the multiplayer in the farming simulator 25 is good that one person like you can have on one map uh, if you can have multiple players like friends and you work together uh, sometimes uh, like at one point you're working in your friend's farm and then they come over to your farm to help you out that'd be interesting that's that's very, that's gonna be very interesting if it happens uh, I've never had friends on the farming simulator but if you have friends I don't know how that's going to feel I'm definitely going to watch that trailer because I really like that game. It's a nice game. And again, every time I tell my friends that I'm doing farming and they're like, you're doing what? And I'm like, I'm farming. And they're like, you bought this whole setup for farming? And I'm like, well, it's fun. It's nice. Yeah, well, it's not worth going for horses. It's it's not. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to manage them. You, hey, come on. These people. For horses, you have to ride them. Uh, so that they have enough exercise because if you, they don't exercise then their prices will go down And you'll not be able to sell them at a good price And it's not easy. You're busy doing your farming and then your horses also need some exercise. You don't have enough time for that So that's what I'm saying if you have friends and they can come over and help you out with the horses and the other stuff as well That's gonna be great if you're playing with friends Otherwise, I will not go for the horses I did once and then I thought that no, I won't do it. Look at 
this road. It is beautiful. I really appreciate the graphic detail in the American Truck Simulator. Look at this grass. Look at this dirty road. And look at this hurt. I love it. I love it. Look at that house. find such places in the Euro Truck Simulator. No, never. Oh, look at this water. <laughs> I was complaining that my watercolor is not very good in this game. Wait, where do we have to go? That's also a hidden road. places in the Euro Truck Simulator, I tell you, I, I promise. There the graphics detail is not as good as this one in this game. Damn, I thought that I was pulling a huge thing. Look at that thing, that loader over there. We have to go there or there? I think here. Hey, come on, this is embarrassing. People are watching. North Carolina, you're right. Yeah, North Carolina is also very beautiful. And I think there is one more place, I don't remember. Uh, wait, 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 let me go to the map. What is the name of that place? I went there once and it was... In Colorado, I think when you're coming all the way from... Uh, Colorado Springs, between Denver and Burlington, I think it's this one. Between uh, Denver and Burlington, this road is very beautiful. I think. What? I don't know. There is one road uh, on the side of the hill, and then there is also water flowing. That road is also very, very beautiful. But it's like a highway. It's not like this. This one is different. In Euro Truck Simulator, I was going from France to Italy, and there was one road, and boy, that road was very beautiful, literally very beautiful. Like I was shocked that there are some some roads like this in Euro Truck Simulator as well. That road was also very good. Let's see how do I how I do parking today. Because lately, it has been embarrassing. Where do I have to go? Where's my parking? I go straight. 
Where are we going? Where is my parking spot? Oh, there! That one! Ooh. Damn, that's very tight! That's very, very tight. Why is this thing parked here? Where is my parking? I cannot see anything. Oh my god, where is it? Okay, I'll just uh, I'll just get close to that ball. I want to do that too. I think I'm doing fine. I need to straight up. I'm not touching that wall. Yep, I'm doing fine. Okay. I cannot see the marker. Where is the marker? straight but it's good enough smart coast to coast mod actually sometimes i fear uh, installing these other mods like coast to coast and so i feel like it will damage my game that's why i don't go for them uh and sometimes even the, these mods when you install these mods they will not have full uh, maps i mean I, I once i downloaded one map uh, it was like not an official map so i just downloaded that map and when i went in sometimes i'll be driving and i will drive off the road and driving off the road will like uh throw me into the air and like i will lose everything and then game will crash something like that like the, the, uh, uh, like i will drive into the wall and then i'll be like up in the sky or something and i don't know how to explain so that is why i just uh i fear them i just don't okay here otherwise i've heard of the coast to coast mod and there are so many people who are like even uh, having uh, maps of Australia and you're in Euro Truck Simulator you you have some maps of China and even from Pakistan and Afghanistan etc 
I don't know how much detail they are and there are also some people who are driving in Indonesia or something but, uh, I don't know what kind of mods do you need for them people usually say that you'll have to consult uh, these mods and seek help on discord and um, discord is a yeah I just I just don't go there I don't do that I'll wait for the official mods. I damaged my trailer. How? To, I have to subscribe to your channel. Maybe I'll learn a thing or two. Don't do that. Stop. Hey. You look like a serial killer. Go. Thank you, lady. And then I had an accident. That's embarrassing. You want to explore this road? But I don't think it goes anywhere. I think it goes up to the farm only. I really want to go. <laughs> I really, really want to go. this place wait map says that the road is closed and I don't see those crosses I want to go hey that's a hidden map that's a hidden road. Let's see where we end up. Look at this farm, it's beautiful. Hey, this one. Let's explore.
this side is open and th oh, that one is close. A hidden road, a hidden passage. Hey, what's going on? What's wrong with these people? Nice talking to you too, bro. Really nice. It's very nice to have someone around uh, to talk to. Uh, I'll see if you have any videos. I will. I will definitely follow your uh, subscribe your channel as well. Uh, happy racing. Happy trucking. Uh, I'm almost there. I will also stop. I will just go to sleep because I'm very tired. Uh, now my back hurt. I was a very long journey. So. I'm also done, I'm also tired, so thank you for being here, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, it was nice talking to you, and I will definitely watch that video of uh, Farming Simulator 25, definitely. Look at that parking. That's amazing. That's so pro. But anyway, continue from here probably to all left to think. So then we'll go to sleep and continue tomorrow. Thank you for watching and wait, I have to follow double and so anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. It was a very long journey. It's like two hours. Very tiring. It's a little bit. See you next time. Probably I'll come again tonight. Uh, one or two. That'll be...